Chapter 11, quadruple your IQ, or what I call having lots of 14x advisors. And the question in the chapter is how effective are you at leveraging insights and opinions from true experts? Those are people who have done what you're up to at least 14 times before, in both business and in life. Uh, a great quote from Oprah Winfrey here, surround yourself only with people who are going to lift you higher. You know, I'm really passionate about this because all too often I see people take advice from people that they just shouldn't listen to. And if the person isn't a master of the situation that you're trying to solve or hasn't solved a situation like this 10, 12, or 14 times before, there's likely danger in getting this person's advice. And whether it's a lawyer, an accountant, a personal trainer, a videographer, a coach, a speaker, a consultant, a therapist, it doesn't matter what it is, you don't want to be people's guinea pig. In his book, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell talks about how mastery comes once you get 10,000 hours of practice. So when we're looking for advisors, that's who we're looking for. People who already have their 10,000 hours, have made the mistakes, have had the lessons, or beyond the conventional wisdom, or beyond the theoretical learning, and have true wisdom based on their own experiences. The key point of this chapter is to have a team of 24 amazing experts literally a text away. You want to have a whole bunch of amazing people that you can rely on in work, self, and life that you can get a hold of right away to help you solve your most important challenges or leverage your biggest opportunities. So you need to work on this if the full weight of every decision rests solely on your shoulders. You have doubts about major upcoming strategic decisions. When you review the list of work, self, and life advisors in the chapter, it's clear you have important missing links. When you get stuck on a decision, you often don't know whom to call, or it doesn't even occur to you to reach out to someone. Finally, you dislike, don't trust, or hesitate to call your current advisors. That's a pretty bad sign. So the challenge I'd like to give to you on this particular chapter is to figure out and find a mentor for yourself. If you're a CEO, it's a CEO who's already been there and done that. If you're an executive, it's someone who is already much farther down the journey than you are currently. No matter what, you want to find someone that already is where you want to be in five or 10 years in the future. These are people that have already climbed the mountain you're going to climb or built the business that you want to build. And it's amazing. These people have already been there and done that are more than willing in many cases to reach out a helping hand and give you advice or direction that will accelerate your ability to get there too. Going back to the tools, if you pull up the plan for the quarter, that's part of the quarterly review and reset. And if you don't have them, you can see them in chapter 17 or download them at lawrenceandco.com. This might be one of your goals for the quarter or maybe for the year is to find that mentor that you can use to help you get there. So think about it. Who is someone who's a 14Xer? They've already been there and they're 14 times ahead of you, or they've done what you want to do 14 times that you can reach out to make your journey much easier and ideally more fulfilling too.